I'd been taking uh, daily aspirin, uh, being a man of a certain age and a certain weight, uh, and not wanting to have a heart attack, I thought, this is what I, I should be doing. I remember going to the toilet and seeing uh, a bit of blood. But it was fresh, clean blood. It wasn't like the dark, tarry stools that they warn you about. Um, so I kind of dismissed it. Uh, and then four months later, I saw some blood again. I thought, well, OK, I need to have a look at this. So I went to the GP. Uh, I had what's called a sigmoidoscopy, which is like a colonoscopy, only they just go into the, the first part of the, the bowel. Uh, I could see everything on the screen where the camera was going, and more or less straight away, I saw something that I thought, oh, what's that? He said, well, we have a closer look at that. I said, yeah, but that's not supposed to be there, is it? And he said, no you're going to be going through a battery of tests and really you need to prepare yourself for the worst. Uh, and he said, you know, do you have any questions? And I looked at him and I said, um, no, I just want to go. <laughs> and, and that was it. And I, I walked out of there and um, I just wanted to get I just wanted to get away from the, from the hospital. Cancer never affected me Physically, I could quite easily kid myself that um, I've never had cancer. Uh, it never made me feel ill. I wasn't aware of it. I went to work every day, uh, right the way through until uh, my surgery. And I suppose doing the work that I did as well, it sort of uh, didn't allow me to dwell on my cancer. And I had set myself one goal from very early on, and that goal was just normal. Um, keep everything as normal as possible, just strive for normality. Surgery was quite big, and that left me with uh, a, couple of, a couple of problems, but you know, primarily uh, they took a section of the bowel away, uh, and I now have a stoma. That is a, a life-changing uh, thing to have. It, it, uh, it, it affects everything you do. It affects how you think about where you go in, uh, you were always aware of where the nearest toilet is and things like that. My daughter was uh, moving back to Cardiff and she was moving on the Friday, so I booked the day off to help her move. Uh, but that was just an excuse for taking a day off because I'd really sort of been feeling the pressure that week. And that night I went to bed. I really didn't sleep. Um, I got up and I was down in the, the local town walking the dog at four in the morning. And I just realized at that point that my working life was over. Uh, I sat on the floor and cried. Um, I was broken. I couldn't take any more. Uh, I went on just about um, every course I could find for dealing with uh, with stress and anxiety and depression and all that. I had my goal of normal and that's what I strive for but I just had a shift where normal was sometimes and I find that that helps. I've never set myself big goals, big ambitions so my life is different to what it was before but it's more enjoyable, it's more fulfilling, it's more satisfying, it's different.